continuation of splots and disintegration of the only stocks that you know there are four departments that are planned to receive vehicles of all the stock, the sheriff's office, fire rescue, public works, and utility. Those purchases will be based again on Harrison's crystal ball recommendations as well as the cost uh, for instance on roads uh, for the sheriff's office is an X number of vehicles and that be, so whatever that number is that we have available and the cost of the vehicle itself we expect it to be mid thirties that will determine then the number of those vehicles in the rate. Um, we have uh, vehicles on fire trucks, on some SUVs for the fire rescue. Uh, those two will be based on um, the price that we believe in.
savings uh, for the interest rates. But so that's basically how we how this project came to be. You will be hearing more about this as we get into our budget process. This proposal is made by Mike related to this that we need to tie to the fiscal study. So you can go back to the projects. I think it also needs to be said that when the county expanded water and sewer services up that way, they anticipated being able to service Moody with capacity and service levels up there. And this is this is kind of the fruition of a foresight from 15 years ago. Uh, at least, uh, 12, 12 years that this process has been ongoing. We've been in conversation with Moody. Uh, but as Mike pointed out, there were some requirements that the federal government had based on purchasing that eliminated them from participating with a local government. It just, you just couldn't make it happen. Uh, and when the chairman and I met with this group in the P4, there were a number of initiatives that had to be eliminated because they couldn't make it work, uh, despite some of these new changes. So this was one of the ones that had been proposed that did not first receive uh, as much interest that uh, because of some of these other projects failing to make their standards, this one was pushed up to the top. As far as the uh, previous page for the uh, project list, as Harrison had made mention, a lot of these projects uh, were slated to be completed with uh, SPAR 6. But due to money constraints, the economy, uh, the list goes on. A lot of these were, none of these projects were completed. So really, this is a push forward from SPA 6 to SPA 7 uh, project list. And looking down at this list, I, might, I go through each one if you like to talk about it, but I'll let you guys peruse it at your leisure. Uh, but basically, the money that Harrison or that we initially had slated for got us down to line 16 in general, based on the initial projections uh, for the last 17 million for Harrison's new uh, hope and information of <laughs> well, conservative estimates that pushes us up to uh, line item eight. So uh, even though I have a big wish list, uh, it looks like we're looking down to about the eighth item that would be good. Obviously, you know, if money comes in more, uh, project cost savings is a little bit less, we might be a, a little bit further, but that's kind of kind of the needs of the utility department. Mike, these items, though, we do have, you do set the, it was listed on the sheet as a priority list, so they are actually in your order of priority that you'd like to see. That. That's correct, yes, sir. Mike, if you look at this item two there, the first replacement of vehicles in relationship to the vehicles that you already have here marked that we're talking about. So it has to be clear. Yeah, this is from the section, rolling stock section that Joe had mentioned. This is an excerpt from that. Basically, it covers uh, seven new vehicles, uh, basically, that we could stage in uh, as money becomes available. Comments, questions? Another long list of items that needs to be done with a limited amount of revenue. The next item uh, is an analysis of the 